Hello everyone, I'm Chloe Lorcer from BelayCPP.com and today I'll be asking this question, is my cat Turing complete? So, uh, I'm introducing to you Peluche. This is marvelous cat. Uh, she's not mine, she's my roommate's cat, but I love her all the same. And the other day I was asking, uh, I realized that Peluche can do a lot of things by herself and maybe she is Turing complete. So the key point is, why would I want to know if my cat is Turing complete? Well, to many cryptocurrency, of course. Uh, Turing completeness is, uh, as you all maybe already know, uh, is a machine that can implement eight instructions. So a uh, shift of the current memory cell, increase or decrease the value at the current memory cell, uh, input and output value, and basically what is loops. It's and other simplifications, but I'll go with that for this talk. So can my cat input and output values? Uh, I made some tests. I was like a uh, poke, poke. And she looked at me like, seriously, go, you're poking me? And she meowed and turned around. So I guess it's a reaction. It works. She can input pokes and output meows. It works. It's valid. Next. Uh, the other day, I came on to this, to this mess, the kibbles everywhere. I was a bit angry at first, but then I realized, hey, what if we number the floor? It's on memory tape. She can increase and decrease values at the current memory cell, if the, the floor is memory cell. And uh, I was doing the dishes the other day. And I accidentally uh, spread water on Peluche. And she was like running around and she made a mess. And I was like, wait a minute. She displaced the ball. So she'll spill kibbles uh, in another cell of our memory tape. Ah, it's a shift, it works, it's valid. Of course, after that, my kitchen was a mess. And I can I cannot. So my roommate didn't know I was messing with her cat. Of course she didn't know. And number five minutes after I finished cleaning, I came to this mess again. She can definitely do loops. And, uh, and so she is a Turing complete machine. Now that I have proven that cat computing is Turing complete, I just have to input instruction uh, to begin the crypto mining, and I'll be a rich woman very soon. So, and, so I did this. I, I woke up to my cat and, hey, Polish, look at these nice instructions. Would you execute this for me, please? Yeah, these nice instructions make me rich. Yeah, no, no, she didn't want to execute the instructions. It was a failure. <laughs> so to be a bit, uh, a bit more serious a second, cat computing is a fairly common behavior when you're working with people. When someone discovers a new feature, they sometimes want to use it everywhere, even when it's useless. I remember that one time when I taught someone about templates and the next day there were templates everywhere in the code, even when it wasn't, was useless and it's, it was a living hell. So eh, don't try to make cryptocurrency with cats. They're not designed for it. Also, cat computing is animal abuse. Don't do it. This was Chloe Lorsen, featuring Peluche. Thanks for listening. <laughs>